Hi, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and review some of the products that I got at the Ulta sale. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, today was like my first real, real day back at work. And um, I did do my normal like Urban Decay foundation and stuff, which held. It held. Um, I probably spent an hour to an hour and a half outside outside in the, you know, South Georgia humidity, and that did really well, but um, out of some of the kits that I got on sale that were the Ulta kits, uh, I used some of the eye products, and <laughs> well, you know, I lasted the day, but my eye makeup didn't. So, y'all are seeing me right now with no no makeup on because as soon as I hit the house, I ate because I didn't get a chance to eat all day. So, I ate and I took my face off and I went outside and fed my chickens. And then I looked in the mirror and said, my eyes are gone. So, we're going to go ahead and talk about that. All right. The kit, the one of the eye things, little eye, let's see, the eye pencil I used today came out of was the have your cake and eat and make up too. I always want to say have your cake and eat it too because I really want cake right now. I'm, I'm still hangry. Um, but anyway, so have your cake and eat it too. So as you can see, like most of this stuff was smelly stuff, which I realize now, hey, probably really shouldn't have gotten this because I'm really weird about smells. Really don't like my makeup to smell anything except for I remember when I was a teenager and I was living on my parents money and I could afford Chanel foundation it had a specific smell about it the Urban Decay has kind of along the, the the same smell with their foundation so that's how I know it's going to stick on my face so um the first thing I want to talk about is this gel eyeliner here we go and chocolate all right no that's not it where is it? Okay, anyway, I grabbed the wrong thing. But it was the eye pencil and chocolate, and it does smell like chocolate, so that kind of aggravates me. And um, probably within about two hours, I just used it to line and smudge under my eyes, it was gone. I mean, it, it, it had disappeared. And I'd even used setting spray and set it, my Urban Decay setting powder. It was gone. Now, I did use, let's see. I do like the setting spray you get in this kit. It, you know, I like their setting sprays. They come in a decent sized bottle. You know, this is the size of my hand. This is the bottle. Um, let's see. This one's the rose water, which I sprayed my face with earlier. I really like it. But let's see. What else came in this? The palette. This palette right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all the staying on this. It didn't stay long on my eyes. I used it, I think while I went shopping the other day and I just wanted to try something matte. And some of these are matte. And I was not thrilled with it. It didn't stay well. And again, they have the chocolate smell. I don't I don't need my, my makeup to smell like food. It's just not, not loving it, not loving it. Um, and then here's the marshmallow highlighter that came in the kit yeah it, it kind of smells like if a marshmallow sat in beach water maybe I don't know but I really haven't used this one it's really sparkly oh no here we go it's really sparkly but this is me I just rub my finger back four or five times to get this on it Okay, so the one thing, let's see, no, I won't say the one thing I like out of this because there's only like two or three things I like out of this kit. Here we go. This is called Soft Serve Cream Blush. I'm not a cream blush person, and it's it smells. It, it says it smells like vanilla berry. It's just kind of weird to me, and I'll put a little bit of this on my finger, see if you can see. I'm um, just this one. I'm just not. I don't know. I'm not going to be rubbing something creamy on my face. Y'all have to avoid me. I'm messing with my eye because we're in a older building and I think it's affecting my sinuses and my tear ducts. Um, at work. 
let's see I do like the lip the juice infused lip oils because my lips have been getting dry because I've been out in the sun too much and this one doesn't smell too bad it smells kind of fruity um, let's see I'm gonna kind of the only thing is it's more tinted that I care for the lip oil to be see that's kind of tinted to me I don't I just no 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 but I did smell this it smells again like another fruit and my lips are dry so we're gonna try it it's a lip scrub which you know I have I have an elf stick scrub that's just sugar it has like no scent in it it's a million years old but I like that one let's see that so it just went in my mouth mmm really wasn't wanting anything to go in my mouth right now yeah okay it doesn't taste too bad when it gets in your mouth I just I, I just have lemonade so that might be why it's not doing much for me all right so our next kit is the I don't sweat a sparkle which <laughs> yeah I sweat so here you go here's what it was all right the headband I usually use to take my makeup off I pull my hair back to take my makeup off um, or if I'm putting makeup on sometimes if I want to get right close up in the hairline I do that um, so that was something I really like now if some of you recall this kit came and the rose water had leaked and somebody had stolen a coupon out of it which now that I'm looking at it it was like you had to spend it on Ulta products so not really stressing that now um let's see this one the pencil and it's not really a pencil it's a cream eyeshadow and light and liner and it's mauve on over are you kidding me okay I was about to show y'all this because I used it this morning really life okay I used this on my eye this this morning and it was gone and I don't know why they're calling it mauve on over there's nothing really mauve about this to me it's more of a brown um it's yet another like basic brown but it was gone it, it was gone off my eyes in no time um let's see what else came in this one I haven't even had a chance to use this yet it's a mattifying powder and translucent that comes with a little cap and you take it off and you push this down and you can just do this and you know but um I use a spray a setting spray and setting powder so I really don't need that let's see what else came in this kit let's see the beauty towelettes the makeup remover facial towelettes I might take these and put these in the cabinet at work that might be one thing good there let's see what else did we get here another juice and infused lip oil and this one is one that's just barely tinted as you can see I like these better let me smell this one this one really doesn't have much of a smell to it I really like that even though it's not marked with what <laughs> what kind it is come on it just says juice infused lip oil there's nothing on it about whether it's you know roses or because it smells kind of like rose oil to me um, but that's not a juice because I have the coconut and what the pineapple or something like that but I like those let's see the other thing I didn't bring in here was a lip and cheek crayon okay I know another beauty guru which I can't even call myself a beauty guru right now I'm just on here battling but um she was talking about the way caps fit on certain products okay well here's a big fail for Ulta the way the caps fit on the products I'm gonna pause the video and go grab it real quick because um I'm gonna show you the issue here okay I'm back so when I went to go grab this out of my organizer it, it completely 
Okay, now it's not doing it. <laughs> of course it's not. Um, it did it earlier. It just, the caps, they either go too far and crack or they just don't go on right. But um, I think I used this as lip stain the other day, the lip and cheek color stick, which, you know, again, I'm not putting this on my cheeks. It's not happening. But there it is. And then I grabbed the chocolate gel eyeliner while I was in there, which I've, I doubled it down this morning already. I don't know if you can see that. That's how much of it I used. And it was gone in an hour. And here, it, it's a nice rich brown color. It just doesn't hold. Um, I'd have to say that if I hadn't paid $8.99 for these kits that they sell for $24.99, I probably would have been kind of kind of mad. Not really happy with the way they've turned out, the products have turned out. Um, you know, I wanted to love Ulta. I wanted to love their products. Um, they have like a few things that, you know, I, I do like, but I'm not digging on the makeup. They, they've they got some work to do. Um, I do use one of their foundations to put a little drop because since I got, I went to the beach and went in my pool and went to the river and got sunburned. So my skin's a little darker now and bronzer just ain't, ain't catching it up. So I do put a little drop of a darker foundation from Ulta into my Urban Decay and it bumps it up just enough to where it's, it's not so pale on my skin. But honestly, if I had the money right now, I'd go grab a darker Urban Decay foundation um, because I just... It holds better. It works better. Uh, and I don't come out looking like an aged rat. Let's see. So, pretty much those are the reviews of those two kits that I picked up. Um, again, I was outside in the sun. I sweat profusely, you know, but my, my Urban Decay stuck. So, not, not just in the company, just let's work on the products. And again, this, this wasn't a waterproof product. So, you know, maybe I need to go pick up a waterproof product. Anyway, long day, ready for rest, round two tomorrow, Tuesday. I'll try something different out of some of the things I've picked up over the summer, see if anything sticks better. So, take your makeup off before you go to bed, wash your face down. Don't go to bed with makeup. I hate you. Um, and anyway, y'all stay safe. And I'll see you later. Bye, y'all.